name is Pan. Um, I'm from Thailand, and I'm in the mechanical engineering. I'm in fourth year now, and the, the, in the first semester of the fourth year. Um, uh, I'm taking this course because I'm interested in the cap, uh, like, uh, like the design things. And, uh, I think that the designing is one of the most important feature for uh, a good engineer. That's why I take this course. Yeah. Nice to meet you all. Do you experience some touring? Uh, experience? Yes, I have some. In Python? Mm -hmm. In Python. Python? Uh, hello everyone, my name is Fahim. I am from Bangladesh. I am also a fourth year uh, undergraduate in mechanical engineering. And uh, in mechanical engineering, we only have very basic uh, CAD course in our first year. So I'd like to further uh, refine my skills in this area. And uh, I've also never developed an application before, so that would be a nice bonus. And I look forward to the semester with you guys. Thank you. My name is Alexandre from France. Um, I've used, I've already used uh, CATIA quite a lot. I've done much, multiple projects like uh, designing uh, bridges or robot parts for 3D printing. So I've used it quite a lot of experience, but I've never programmed any um, application or used the uh, Unity. So I'm looking forward to doing that. Uh, my name is Abi. I'm currently in my seventh semester and under the mechanical engineering department. Um, uh, I took this course because I wanted to uh, improve my proficiency and, uh, with CAD by understanding the the I guess the basic uh, structure and logic behind the how uh, CAD uses its algorithm to create the designs. So I'm look, looking forward to uh, applying what I learned to the, to the project. Thank you. Hi, my name is Kevin Singh. I'm from Korea. <laughs> uh, Where are you, Korea? South <laughs> <laughs> Korea. <laughs> and, uh, I my major is also mechanical engineering. This is my third semester, and I'm a member of ICAN laboratory. Third oh, semester in mass study. Yeah, mass study. Hello, everyone. I'm Ahir Bastogu. Uh, I am third uh, semester student in the, in the master's course. I am also from this laboratory, and I am taking this course because I am very interested in design. And um, uh, nowadays, uh, all the CAD systems are moving towards Industry 4.0, so it is very important for the mechanical engineers to know the theories and or they can implement with this kind of group that is just Hi everyone, my name is Mutama. Uh, this is my second semester of Moscow here. I am also from Pakistan, like Tariq. And uh, I am a member of ICAD laboratory. In ICAD laboratory, there are uh, two major uh, categories. One is CAD and other is VR for design. So I am working in CAD. So this course is directly related with the CAD, and uh, as one many of the fellows mentioned, that uh, I have also never developed that app, so I am just kidding. Thank you. So I guess everybody has some experience in programming. Computer programming. C, C plus plus, Python. <laughs> Not many. No experience. No experience. 
So, so uh, homogeneous. I want to using this plan. This plan is good, but I want to also uh, want to model conic section phase slide. So they introduce additional coordinate or homogeneous code. And nerve says that's the name. One step further. So this is a sub Clark as a rational quadratic. But that means it's already second. Oh. Jumping up to the surface. There are more, but it's not coming. The next is not coming. So we stop curves, studied curves, and then it goes on the surface. It is tension, right? Touch it, surface, curve sub segment, curve segment, piecewise curve, right? curve segment. Here they are called patch. I I already explained patchwork. You know what is patchwork for ladies? Patchwork. No? You never had a sewing? Sewing? Patchwork. Right? You understand what is patchwork? Okay. Surface patches. Same. Fabric, surface, patches, and piecing together, we call patchwork. Same as surface patches. And introduce another parameter called grid. Right? U, only, only U is a curve. Surface, we need another parameter, the grid. And there's a boundary curves. Instead of boundary points, right? boundary curves. Isoparametric curve means uh, along the surface, you fix one of the parameters. U equal 0 0.7. Fixed, and only V is changed. Along the surface, U is varying from 0 to 1. V is changing from 0 to 1. Right? It's a one surface pitch. Right? Two parameters. U V, one, zero, one, zero, right? But along, in the, along the surface, I fix one parameter, say anyone, but say U equals 0 0.7, and change only V from zero to one, then we find out one curve along the surface, right? Along the surface. Call this is isoparametric curve. Iso means same, same, iso, same. Same parameter, fixed parameter. Continuity between surface patches, similar to, similar to curve continuity. C0, C1, C2. Now, a surface pitch and its boundary. So there's four, four corner points. Four corner points. And this is all of the isoparametric curve, right? So V is fixed, zero. Only U is bearing. Along this boundary curve, also along this boundary curve, this is also isoparametric, one of the isoparametric curves. U is fixed as zero, 
And this one is also one, it should be one. So font is not there. Who is one? Point is zero, one. One, one. One, zero. You can make this one a variable. Usually, you go one to one. Zero to one, zero to one. One pitch. So, by cubic surface, permit, we call this coons. But same as permit. Coons by cubic. There is 48 coefficient, not doubling. Right? It was four boundary conditions in permites to be curved. Two position, two tangent. Not, not eight. <laughs> More than eight. Right? Complication. Only change two dimension to three dimension. The complication goes much more, exploding. So 3D is more complex than 2D. You already know. 16 multiplies. Right? Four corner points, question vector. Not four tangent vector. It's an eight tangent vector because it's along the two corners, right? Along the curve, along the curve. Each each body each corner there is a two tangent vectors along the boundary curve. And eight tangent vector and then twist vector. Twist vector is see tangent vector is a derivative. Derivative. Derivative along the boundary. Derivative along the boundary. Twist vector means uh, partial derivative of two along u and along v at the at the uh, vector, corner point at the corner point we have a two derivative cross the curve cross derivative we call it two step so there is a four four corner points so there is a four two step. So that it, it makes uh, 16, right? And then multiply by cubic. Cubic is uh, x, y, z. Boundary condition matrix. So it's 48 boundary condition matrix plus blending function. Same blending function. Homite blending function. Same blending function. Same as the curve blending. Control point, only control point change, and also the dimension change. Blending is the same. So blending the uh, 48 coefficients together. Then you arrive at surface. Simple? Simple. Easy, huh? Easy. More complication, same, same logic. Major surface. We call Polygon of control point, right? Here is polyhedron rather than polygon. Right? Polyhedron, three dimension. And tensor product means sigma and sigma. Right? Tensor product. Surface. And control point has two indices along the U, along the V. Right? It's a matrix of control point. Polyhedron. Right? And Bernstein polynomial. Bernstein polynomial. Same. But you have a two, two Bernstein polynomials. For you or for two. That's it. So they are blending or mixing these control points and arrive at surface. As with beta curve, local change is not possible. Only this price has the Small area region, I only want to change small area. Slight change. That is a local change. It is not possible with edges. So you should go on to this prime surface. Same as curves. Convex surface property, and convex surface, this one, convex surface property. 
Okay, same. Useful in ray tracing and intersection situation. Intersection. Because we can find out the line, right? By collapsing, collapsing control point into line or small region. And convex soil properties, the curve and surfaces inside convex always. That's good. So I can image, I can expect with uh, a range of progression. Right, this is a page of catch with five, five cross four array of points. Along this uh, boundary, we have uh, five control points so that we expect uh, four solder curve along boundary curve. And this is four point, four control points so that two big this way, and then four by e five, and then all together twenty control point. And they are mixed and blended together to give the surface. Right? Simple. Okay. And then close to the patches. I want to make a close to surface cylinder. And by multiplying or coincidence the, the boundary surface together or control point together and arrive at closed surface. For engineers, it's important. Yeah? This plan rational parametric surface. So we already jumped into rational this plan. And then we can move. Model, model, the conic surface like a cylinder, cylinder, using rational, this plane, surface. This is a, 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 one, one step further uh, jump to the interpolation rather than blend approximation. I explain this. Yeah? Approximation, usually the previous ones. It's approximation. Approximation. Control point is different from surface. Control point is blended to create surface, but surface and control point not not the whole, right? Not coincident. But I want to make a, somehow somehow the points given points should be on the surface make uh, experiment a bit. Yeah. Regression analysis. Regression analysis. I want to make some. No, regression analysis is not interpolation. It's an approximation. Okay. But anyway, sometimes I want to make uh, interpolation. Crossing all the points. So it's an incorporated display circuit. There, you can find out general paper or books that uh, explain points. This is not control point. You can find out reverse way control point. Some of the aspects gives you find out control point. And then that control point gives you the curve. So two way, two, two process. Two points, one surface. Almost done. This is a blue surface. There is a two parametric curve, two parametric curve, any shape, two parametric curves. And then joining these two curves using straight lines. This is a root surface. And then you need to have a directional parameterization, a curve, directional curve. Right? Ruling, this is a roller, this is a roller, roller, ruling. Right? Direction of rolling. And we, uh, the think about this is a kind of cylinder. So a kind, a kind of means generalized cylinder. So it's something like a bending by the roller. So this one, this one. There's a two boundary curves. And the direction is in this way, two boundary curves. And then at each point of parameter value, you just draw straight line. Every parameter, isoparameter curve is straight line. So 
to make call this a blue, blue surface. So I took another the last page as a video. Right, so again, so we can go oh, just 13 minutes. Yeah. So test modeling, we can put them, put them on water test, put them on space. Yeah. 